From the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest is recharging your vision with their electronic focusing eyewear. This is some pretty cool stuff. The CEO of Pixel Optics is Brett Craig. Brett, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? Dave, great to be here. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure you're helping us focus into tomorrow, as it were, from what I gather. Tell me about Empower. What's this all about? Empower actually is the world's first focusing uh, eyewear. It's actually a uh, offers a dynamic electronic zone in the bottom third of the lens. So when one enables the activator, in this case called the accelerator, on the temple of the frame, one can then focus in the near as well as in the far. So it's a progressive lens designed for a distance and mid-level uh, sight, but one, in fact, pressing the accelerometer, one can also then look and shoot through the near zone that is electronically focused and have instantaneous near vision and or reading vision. So we're really just tapping this little button sort of thing on the side, uh, on, the, on the frame of the glasses. Exactly. And it's changing the focal optics, I guess, the optics itself? Exactly. It's changing the optics in the near zone. In fact, you can put that either in an automatic or a manual mode. In the automatic mode, uh, actually, as you tilt your head, you're able to take it from a distant or a mid-level uh, prescription into a near zone when looking down. Really? So it has a, the, an accelerometer exactly. that knows I'm tilting my head down, and when it when so doing, it's bringing in, in this case, the better reading capability now. Exactly. Wow. That's pretty clever because you don't see anything different as you just look at the lenses because it's all the magic of technology, no doubt. It is. And in <laughs> fact, we are truly the first uh, electronic focusing eyewear really enabling uh, the power of electronics in the battery in the frame itself to really enhance the vision in all distances. And it does just that. So now this can help folks uh, with the nearsighted issues, farsighted issues, depending on their concern? Absolutely. It's a progressive lens, so um, very typical to another progressive lens with a much better, in, in our minds, um, uh, distort, lack of distortion rate. But... As one wants to move their focus in towards their uh, reading uh, sphere, uh, one touches the accelerometer and either, again, in a manual or, or in an automated uh, phase, can look down and see uh, vision perfectly in the near. Now, do we need a special eye exam in order to make these work or get the prescription for them? Yes, it's, it's, the model is typical where, in fact, one is going into an optician or an optometrist being refracted for their eyesight and then at that point is in ordering the Empower lens. The uniqueness about this lens as well, as it is a new category, one is buying not only the lens itself, but the integrated package of frame and lens. Gotcha. And uh, is there pricing and availability yet for these? There is availability. Uh, we've actually uh, trained uh, about 4,000 ECPs, uh, and we uh, roughly have uh, will have about 1,500 locations. The price point is running on average about 25 to 30 percent more than a leading progressive lens today. Okay, but certainly for what it does, and I'm, I must say, I'm styling there now. Check it out you on, look very on, on the Dave cam here. <laughs> and if I just tap the button, then I would notice the different optics as I look down to read or tilt my head down, and it's going to do it automatically. Absolutely, Dave. Wow, I'm liking it. You look good in them as well. Why, thanks. I can and, and I can see. <laughs> Go figure. Whoa, there is writing in front of me. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> and one can get more information at your site, which is lifeactivated.com, correct? Exactly. Or you can go to our Pixel Optics website, which is www.pixeloptics.com. Okay, terrific. And one would expect now, as we head further into tomorrow, we're going to see more of these sorts of lenses, no doubt, that are going to be solving other vision problems for other folks? Yes, you can assume, given the platform, that we have other alternatives into adjacent markets uh, and or other domains that we think are going to be quite applicable to um, the technology that we have at hand. Ah, terrific. Lifeactivated.com. Brett, thanks for spending a few minutes Thank with you, us Dave. here. And as we continue our 17th year coverage of CES, I want to remind you, if you have heard anything on today's broadcast, last week's, or that you will hear next week, three weeks of CES coverage that you have questions about, 
Pick up the phone and join us anytime, 24-7, 1-800-899-INTO, 800-899-4686, or even better, use our free Into Tomorrow apps and join us on the show. We'll get answers for you. Next week, part three of Into Tomorrow CES coverage. Meantime, hit us up at intotomorrow.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.